Welcome to our exploration of a tale that has significantly influenced our understanding of human psychology, relationships, and culture. As we delve into this ancient Greek myth, we'll uncover the layers of meaning within this story of beauty, love, and self-obsession. This narrative has been retold and reinterpreted countless times throughout history, each iteration adding new dimensions to its meaning. Its enduring popularity speaks to the universal themes it addresses, themes that remain relevant in our modern world. The Legend of Narcissus and Echo is a narrative that continues to resonate with audiences today. It's a story of two individuals bound by fate and their own limitations. The exceptionally beautiful youth becomes an example of vanity taken to extremes, while the nymph, cursed to only repeat the words of others, falls in love with him. Their intertwined tale explores unrequited affection, barriers to communication, and the dangers of excessive self-admiration. As we examine their story, we'll see how this ancient myth reflects aspects of our modern world, including our relationship with self-image, online identity, and the search for genuine interaction in an increasingly digital society. The myth also raises questions about the nature of love itself, asking whether true affection can exist without meaningful dialogue and mutual understanding. Echo's story begins before her encounter with Narcissus. Once a lively and charismatic spirit, she was known for her wit, charm, and gift for conversation. Her life changed when she angered Hera, the queen of the gods, by distracting her from Zeus's infidelities. As punishment, Hera cursed Echo, leaving her only able to repeat the last words spoken by others. This punishment robbed Echo of her autonomy and her most cherished gift. It was in this state that she met Narcissus in the forest, instantly falling in love but unable to express her feelings. Echo's situation highlights the importance of communication in relationships and the frustration of being unable to express oneself fully. Her story also serves as a metaphor for those who feel voiceless or unheard in society, unable to articulate their own thoughts and desires. Unaware of Echo, Narcissus came upon a clear pool in the forest. As he leaned over to drink, he saw his reflection and was captivated. This moment embodies the myth's theme of excessive self-admiration. A prophecy had foretold that Narcissus would live a long life only if he never saw his own likeness, adding irony to his fate. Believing he was seeing another person, Narcissus remained by the pool, slowly weakening as he tried to embrace his reflection. He ignored all attempts at rescue, including Echo's silent efforts. As he died, Narcissus transformed into a flower bearing his name, forever positioned to gaze at its reflection in water. This transformation serves as a reminder of the potential dangers of pride and self-absorption, while also touching on themes of self-knowledge and the search for identity. The flower's placement near water sources in nature adds a poetic touch to the myth's lasting impact on our understanding of the natural world. The impact of this myth extends beyond ancient storytelling, influencing modern psychology and cultural analysis. Narcissus's story contributed to the concept of narcissistic personality disorder, characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance and lack of empathy. Echo symbolizes the human need for affirmation, often at the cost of one's identity. Their tale offers insight into contemporary trends, from the pursuit of social media validation to the complexities of modern relationships. It prompts us to consider how we present ourselves online and interact with others, encouraging a reevaluation of what constitutes genuine connection and self-worth in the digital age. The myth also raises questions about the nature of love and attraction, asking whether physical beauty alone is enough to sustain meaningful relationships and how self-love can either enrich or hinder our connections with others. The enduring relevance of this legend demonstrates the universality of its themes. This ancient myth, exploring vanity, unrequited love, and identity, finds new meaning in our technological era. The parallels between Narcissus's self-absorption and modern online behavior offer a cautionary perspective on excessive self-focus. Echo's struggle for recognition resonates with the quest for validation in digital spaces. Beyond culture, the myth influences psychology, art, and literature, shaping our understanding of human behavior and relationships. 
As we navigate the 21st century, this story reminds us of the importance of balancing self-love with empathy, challenging us to foster genuine connections in a world that often prioritizes surface-level interactions. It also invites us to reflect on how technology mediates our relationships and self-perception, and whether our digital reflections truly represent our authentic selves.